Greetings and welcome. My name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and what we're going to be doing in this video is setting up perfect collisions for our character. And now we can do that because we have split up our actual character movement from the pressing of the keys themselves. So now we can come in here and right before we physically move our character, we can check to see if we're going to collide with anything if we were to move them this amount. So to do that, we're gonna need another object because right now we don't have anything we can run into. So let's create a new sprite. I'm just gonna call this SPR solid. It's gonna be a blue square and you can have it be any color you want. I like blue. We're gonna create an object called OBJ solid and just assign it that sprite and that's all that we need to do for that. So we give it that and now let's go into the room and put it in here a couple of times. I'm gonna hold alt and add a couple more squares. Okay, so now we have solids that we can collide with in our room. And we're gonna be using a specific function called place meeting to check to see if we're running into these. Now, the way that we're gonna be doing it is gonna be like this. So our character is gonna be moving along at a certain amount. Let's say each move here is how much she'll move in H speed or V speed, it doesn't matter. So as she's moving, if she attempts to move too much, so if she, if she were to try to move this much, you can see that she would be inside of this OBJ solid. That would be too much of a collision. So what we're gonna do is say, is the movement amount that she wants to move going to put her inside of a solid? If it is, then what we wanna do is say, don't move that amount. Instead, take off snapping, instead move her one pixel at a time, closer and closer until she is as digitally close to the solid as possible, which is right there, and then stop. That way we'll get as close to the object as we can, but we'll never actually run inside of it. Because once you're inside of an object, you have to do some different checking, and that I'm gonna cover in another video. But for now, we're gonna work on preventing collisions instead of fixing it once we're inside of a collision. Because if we can prevent all the collisions, then that would be preferable. Okay, inside of OBJ Sarah, what we're gonna do is start this check right before we actually move our character. And this is why we had to change up our input because if we have input that is the checking every keyboard press and then immediately moving our character, that won't work. So if that's the kind of movement that you currently have in your game, check out my clever keyboard input or just change it up to be something like this because this project will be available to download in the comments as well if you want that. Okay, so we need to check horizontal and vertical collisions. So first, we'll check horizontal. So we're gonna say if place meeting. So if we are meeting at a certain location, we give this an X, Y, and an object to check for. So we're gonna say X, so our X location, plus a certain amount, H move, however much that is. It can be 3.5 or seven, so it can change, but we wanna say if we're meeting horizontally x plus h move y obj solid so if we would actually collide with this obj solid we want to instead just move one pixel at a time and to do that we're going to use a while loop so we're going to say while we are not meeting with the obj solid for, from one pixel either left or right and to check that, we don't need to have two while loops, we can actually use another function. We can say x plus the sine of h move. The sine function just returns one or negative one depending on if this is a positive or negative value. And remember that if we are moving right, then this little math will be positive, and if we're moving left, it will be negative. So that function will work perfectly y obj solid 
So while we are not meeting our OBJ solid one pixel to our left or right, continually move one pixel to the left or right. X plus equals the sign of each move. So we move one pixel at a time, and as soon as we are meeting with it, that while loop will terminate, and we're gonna change our H move equal to zero. And then when we come down here, when we say X plus equals H move, it'll be zero, so we don't have to worry about that. So if we run this, we'll see that now we have perfect collisions going left and right. So you can see I get as close as I can to that, and I can still move up and down while I'm colliding with it, and it works out perfectly. Now if I go up, that's no good, because we haven't set that up yet. But let's set it up now. So that's horizontal, and we're going to do the exact same thing for vertical. So we could actually copy this, but I'm going to type it out again just because if you copy something too many times or if there's a lot of things you need to change, it can cause some issues. But we're going to be doing the exact same thing, just checking the Y coordinate now. So if place meeting X, Y plus V move, OBJ solid. While not place meeting, x, y plus the sine of v move, obj solid, y plus equals the sine of v move, and then v move equals zero. And that's that. Now if we come down here and run the game, we'll see that we have perfect collisions going up, going down, and if we are going from side to side, then we're still perfectly fine. We can move around as much as we want there. And now, this works really, really well. But if you're running the game, and your game just seems to freeze up, you've probably encountered what's called an infinite loop. And I'll show you kind of how you do that, is inside of a while loop, if you do this and that while loop can never end, your game will just go on and on forever. So if somehow that happens, you wanna come and look at your while loop because this is gonna be where it's at. And if we were to change H move to zero, this would create a an infinite loop for us when we check horizontally because the sign of zero is gonna be zero and we're not gonna ever get close to this object. So now you can see that it looks like she's working there, but she can't move. The game is now completely frozen. And if I do this, it doesn't even stop it because it's completely frozen. The game is in a loop trying to do something that it can never, ever achieve. So I'm actually going to have to force close this. And now that it's closed, I can come in here and I can change this back to H move and it will work properly. So whenever you use a loop of any kind, but especially a while loop, you want to make sure that you can get out of it. Otherwise, you're going to have something like that happen, and it's going to freak you out at first, and then you're going to have to force close your game, and it's going to be really annoying. But the nice thing is you'll know exactly kind of where it is, because if you just wrote a while loop and then tested out your game, you know that it has to be inside there. But that's error checking when you do while loops. If you didn't have that, then you're all set, because now you have perfect collisions inside of here. And it'll work for pretty much everything. If you know about inheritance, you just replace this OBJ solid with OBJ solid parent or OBJ enemy or whatever the case is, and then you'll check for all of those. If you don't, check out my video on inheritance. But that's what I've got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me, and as always, have fun making great games, and I'll talk to you later.